All right, so now we've shaped this end of the pipe elbow so that it fits snug against the curb of the can. The next step is to create the dive, drive diaphragm out of a balloon. So what we do is we cut the neck off the balloon with a long straight section. We just cut right there. So we have that piece. And then the about a half inch or so of scrap here that we don't need, we can cut that off. And that middle section we can set aside. We don't need that for this operation. So now we're going to stretch the balloon over the wide end, the end that we did not shape. And you want to center the balloon so that the, the end of the balloon is right there in the middle. And you want to stretch it so that it will still have a little bit of motion in it. You don't want to pull it completely tight. The actual amount that this moves is, is defined for you in the book. And it's important that you have some freedom of movement there. And then we take this end of the balloon and we're going to roll this up until we have a rubber band. And then we're going to use that rubber band to seal the drive diaphragm onto the pipe elbow. So you just roll that balloon neck up until you have a nice big rubber band. And we use that to attach. That'll hold everything in place, give us a good seal. You need to get the wrinkles out. When you have the wrinkles out, you have a good seal. When you have your motion right in there just the way you need it, there you have it, ready to attach.